So this is my wonderful friend, Drew Noah. He's pretty much amazing. Now tell me everything that you do. So leave nothing out. I oh, want to no. know about your breathing, <laughs> about your kidney operations, just everything. Well, uh, and last night I did not sleep with anything at all about my great allergies my family. Um, mm-hmm. I inherited from my family, but... Uh, uh, Does Tim have that as well? Yeah, uh, no, Tim's perfectly allergy free. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. Um, so, yeah, I do volleyball. That's what I do. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, sometimes. But is your also. team in every single time? Uh, yeah, it does. Every time. Every single much. Time. 100%. So what we're going to do here today is we're up, welcome to yet another episode of John Works Too Much. We're going to tear out this beautiful bathtub, we're going to tear out this beautiful shower, and what do you think we're going to do? Make a ginormous big shower, as we're in the habit of doing. We're going to put a bench right here, we're going to slide the last door over here. Oh, we've got to make some room. This isn't big enough. No worries. We're going to tear all this out, we're going to put in, um, uh, a new band or two. <laughs> we'll figure it out exactly. And then what else? Yeah, we're going to be doing uh, the homeowner critique edition because right. you know you guys never get to see the homeowner's reaction, uh-huh. and they don't come in and go, "Oh, look at this! This is so <laughs> great!" Move uh, that boss. John always edits that out of his video, so we're going to we're going to tell you the truth this time and let you guys know how this is. Yeah, this is all going to actually go down. So, have you ever been a submarine? Uh, no. That's honest. That's honest. So I have. So in Hawaii, I went in a submarine, and we were up at the top of the surface, right? We get in. Yeah. It's a tour, right? Very high about tour. Mm-hmm. I never pay attention. I'm like, this looks like one. You're like, what? So you go in there, and then they're like, oh, look around. Colors are different once you get down lower. I'm like, all right, whatever. See that girl's wearing a red shirt? Like, yeah. Her fingernails are whatever. They are purple. You know, uh-huh. See that guy's shirt is green? Like, yeah. And then, you know, you forget about it. And you go down, you're looking around, like, look, there's, there's an underground ship or whatever, and look at those fish and stuff. And then they're like, hey, remember her red shirt? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, it's fluorescent green. All like, right, because light looks different if you're 100 feet through water, mm-hmm. and so all the colors change. So what's the point of that? You can't really trust things, right? You can't really trust things. Your own perception, like if you're wearing yeah. rose-colored glasses and you're looking at the world like, but this is the way the world is, and you're like, that's probably how you see the world, but it's yeah. inaccurate. This does not sound like this is going to be going well. Right, so <laughs> right now you think like, I've got a good looking shower, but maybe it's not. Should I say this? or no. <laughs> This is not too late. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, it's not too late, to, so I could just ruin it for you. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to do it anyway. We don't have all right, guys, let me get it. Huh. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, so it's been, I was just using the toilet over here. Uh, it's been about 28 minutes, and we got all this stuff knocked out, as usual. So remember, this was a shower, and that was a tub, and they look just beautiful. Actually, they look horrible. But let me just tell you what happens. Right before something is beautiful, it's disgusting. And that's true story. We got rid of this bandy. Now, let me start and tell you a quick story. So... I've flipped a lot of houses, 80 houses now, plus tons of construction. And oftentimes when I was younger, I would like get in there and go, yeah, we're gonna get all this. And you know, you're trying to save money because you're done for money. And then you think, that part doesn't look so bad, right? And then you just don't replace that part. And then you do everything else new, and at the end of it, you look and you go, that is so ugly. I wish that that was not there. That is not pretty at all. So this is why when I die, I want to be cremated because I don't want there to be anything left for God to be like, I mean, I can leave that. It's not so bad. I want it. He'll be like, nope, it's all burned up. I got to start from scratch. I'm like, thank God, because this is a mess. And look, all you girls already know it. Probably most of you guys know it too. Yep, not, not pretty. It's not pretty. So I'm like, burn the whole thing and start from scratch. Trust me. We all know that it needs to happen. What did you do to my oh, 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 true. Oh, I'm sorry. No, um, you're fired. No, we talked about this. We were going to tear it up, remember? Oh, yeah. It looks much better. Yeah, you like it? So we're going to leave it like this. Um, look, cool. what's going to happen is this, okay? We're going to go to lunch. We'll be back in about six or seven months, okay? Um, Kara's going to love that. Yeah. Don't try to call me. Don't try to text me. You will not be able to get in touch with me at all. Okay. We were at the one star of the Right, well we were at half. We star, were we're gonna smash out the window first, so don't worry about that. Uh, it's perfectly normal. And we're gonna kick a hole through to your garage. Uh, all right. We'll probably just use your car to do that. I actually like that. More room for my boat. Right. Yeah, you gotta be motor right, right, the wall here. Right, 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 just motor both the shower. <laughs> <laughs> 
So anyway, then we'll be back in about six or seven months, get it done in about a day and a half. And then, look, you're going to hate my guts for a while. I'm not going to lie to them. But by the end of it, you're going to want to kiss me right on the mouth. Uh, all right. I'm just saying. <laughs> so off to lunch we go. Bye. <laughs> So maybe you're like, I'm in McKinney, I need to dump some trash from a job I'm doing. And you think, oh, they've got a transfer station here, or a dump, you know, sanitary landfill, whatever nonsense they want to call it. And you're thinking, this will be quick. Incorrect. Drew, how long have we been here? Six hours? Six hours. And 14 minutes, right? And 30 seconds. Definitely more than 28 minutes. We, we spend <laughs> less time tearing everything out and filling the truck than we have waiting in line. So here's what happens. Uh, Dennis, can you see all this? There's a line that goes, I don't know, about a quarter of a mile that way, and also behind us, uh, probably easily three quarters of a mile, so a total of a mile. Um, and we have to wait so that we can zipper in there, you know, one side, the other side, one side, the other side. Nobody's going fast. There is one scale, okay? So we get all the way to the front, somebody waves us through, we go over there, we get in the second line, she goes, oh, no, no, no. You've got to go back around and wait in the line again. And we're like, for what? She goes, now you got to get on this scale. And we're like, okay. So we do. Then we sit there waiting because, you know, there's no explanation. So finally somebody gets out and says, oh, you got to step out of your vehicle, walk around, give us a credit card, give us the driver's license and a water bill. And we're like, okay, we're going to hold on to that for you. Then go over here and dump it over the side of your truck into a pit. I'm like, lame. So there's trash everywhere it's like gonna pop people's tires i don't even care at this point then once you're done with that you got to come back around and wait in the line a third time so that then they can charge you i don't know sixty dollars a ton or something like or for the after a thousand pounds oh look we moved isn't that nice so if you're thinking what would be a fast efficient and affordable way to get rid of my garbage this is not it also, you get I get to sit in the middle of this truck yeah. between two stinky dudes. Hey, and, well, I, I probably stink too. Between and, Shrek and Wreck-It Ralph, that's fair. That's right. Yeah, yeah. and just like for, every airplane. Yep, because <laughs> the back seat is full of uh, jump, be jump. Be yeah, beautiful. Back seat. Yeah, so it's well organized. This is like worse than being in an airplane sitting next to. But uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, this is why he still doesn't have a woman. Oh my goodness, that's not the only reason. The, the other reason is I've failed at every single relationship I've ever had in my entire life. But thanks for bringing up that painful subject. I'm not crying, I just bit of a pepper. I cut it. Oh, hey there. Uh, it was kind of a long day. I don't know if you can see the darkness outside. We had that imported. Um, there was a huge solar energy spill today, but. That's in the past now. Anyway, um, we got caught up at the dump, McKinney dump, for about six hours. That may be an exaggeration. I exaggerated about 500% of the time. But we built this bench, we put in a new faucet, we built these walls, we built this curb, we uh, raised everything up to the right level, uh, put the pan in, poured the pan, and tomorrow we will wait time. So that's pretty exciting. Now, I want to tell you, my wonderful friend Jerry Thompson, years ago, he goes, you know, you live a pretty interesting life, I'm like, okay? And it's like, at your funeral, this is gonna happen. I'm like, I'm intrigued. I love stories about my funeral. Can't wait to be dead. So, he's like, people are gonna come up from all walks of life that know you in all different ways. And they're like, John Snow, yeah, no, he's the author. And I'm like, no, he's the musician. I'm like, no, man, he plays piano. No, he's a singer. No, he did my video work. No, he's an actor. No, he built my house. No, he remodeled my house. No, he's a senator. No. You know, whatever, and then somebody's going to be like, back in the day, he had the best weed. And every one of those people is going to be right, because all of those things are true. It's been a long time on the weed thing, just to set the record straight. But uh, people are very diverse and complex, so sometimes you think, I know their whole story. Chances are you don't. All right, we're going to go to sleep, because um, I think sleeping in a conference is a good thing to do, right? Don't, I think the Mafia's got something um, that they say about that, like sleeping with the fishes or... Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get some copper shoes. Oh, hey there. Uh, so, it occurs to me, I've just been over here sweeping all night long because that's what I do. Um, it occurred to me that some of you don't know how to estimate things. It's important. Surely you're in geometry or math or something, remedial, and it was however you learn this stuff. Anyway, so maybe you're like, how much tile should I buy? Answer simple. Length times width, right? So you measure this, you go, well, let's see, this is three foot, roughly. 
It's a little warm. By, let's see what this is. 70. So then you go, and here's the hard part. 3 times 7, that's 21 square feet. And then you would add this up, and I happen to know this is 8 feet by 7, so you're like plus another 56, and so on and so forth, until you're like, I don't know, like 110 square feet. Always round up a little bit, and then 21 square feet on the floor. So that should help you to figure out how to figure out how much, uh, how many materials to buy. Now, a lot of you guys know that I've been drinking diet water for years, and obviously it's not working. So I've decided, okay, so follow my logic here. Do you ever just take strength aspirin? No, that's stupid, right? You want to take extra strength or like maximum strength. Like you want to find out how much will kill me and back it off just a little, and that's the maximum amount of strength you can get from this aspirin. So I want to do that with water. I want to drink maximum strength water, right? It's got twice as much water as a container half the size. Think about that. Now, I've got another question for you. That, that I already know the answer to, but this is a question I have for all the guys that don't work hard, okay? Do you carry your lipstick in your pocket or do you keep it in your purse? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's it. All right. Have a good day. So, uh, so, uh, so, oh, <laughs> it says soap. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. So it just dawned on me that some of you guys don't know how to install a soap dish or a corner shelf as they are labeled. Bath corner shelf. There's no bath in here. It's a shower. Um, allow me to demonstrate. First, you open the package. This is the hard part. Throw that on the back. Then, oh, that's not so bad. But we are going to get some more on it. So here we go. Let's get a little bit. And then we put it in. And now, We'll just cut the next tile just like we did this one, and that'll go around. And now we have a good place for, I think, soap, so, sorry, soap, and then shampoo and conditioner. Or whatever you people use. Good. I guess the guys that don't work, I guess you probably use shower gel or some kind of creams or whatever. All right, so speaking of guys that have problems, this happens to me all the time, guys. People are always trying to set me up on blind dates, right? Because, I mean, look, I'm empathetic, and I've been single forever. Uh, <clears throat> and some people say it's because I'm too picky, but whatever. So somebody recently was like, hey, I've got this friend, and she's a librarian. I'm like, hmm, no, hard pass. I'm like, what's wrong with librarians? I'm like, well, first of all, they're always thinking about themselves. And then secondly, they're always booked. So no thanks, hard pass. Oh, hey there. Um, so, we'll lay some tile. Dennis, come on in here. So let's take a look and see what it is. As you can see over here, there's um, soap dishes that we put in earlier, remember? Yeah, I'm not going to too much. And then we got the faucet, and it's a big shower. You can fit 12 or 15, 25, 75 people in there. I'm not good now. Um, and then we got the pebble stone down here, we got this cool ledge. We also got these vanities in place. They're not, we don't have the sinks and the faucets done yet, but. How exciting. Now, earlier I gave you guys a, uh, a message on how to figure measurements so that you could estimate how much stuff you need. And as I was doing that, I mismeasured something and we were grossly off. We were off by two boxes and then two pieces of tile down here, which made me feel pretty stupid. So uh, in Proverbs it says, and this is a universal law, that uh, pride comes before a fall. And so clearly, I must have been very prideful and then overlooked things. And I'm usually very good at estimating things. Usually it's like, yep, nailed it. There it is, three pieces left over. Not today. Went back to Home Depot, went back to Home Depot, went back. I was like, I'm dumb. So I remember when gay marriage first became legal. Do you remember those times? Yeah, he does. Uh, and I remember thinking, gay pride comes before gay fall. <laughs> It's not nice. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Not nice. Please don't quote me on that. But when, when marriage became legal for uh, gay people, I was like, yep, see how you like it, buddy. The next thing you're going to see is like gay divorce court. That would be actually pretty entertaining. I don't know if they've got that because I don't watch TV, but it sounds wonderful. The cat is going to um, probably shower before the rest of us. We are going to drive home in traffic, and we will see you tomorrow when we will grout this and put in a shower door and do another coat of tape in bed and blow some texture and get these sinks and faucets in. What do you think, Katie? Uh, yeah. Good talk. Oh, hey there. 
So, uh, I'm sure you guys all probably know somebody who really loves drama. Uh, I know I've worked with a lot of people that they create a problem. Have you ever know these people? They create a problem secretly so that everybody can stress about it all day long or for however long they can stretch it out. And then they magically come up with a solution for that same problem. And then they look like a hero. And you're like, are you really that insecure? Like, there's plenty of problems without you on the deal. So I was on a job like this years ago, probably 15 years ago. And so I goes, John, I don't know why uh, this person, who will remain nameless, needs to uh, feel like they, they have to create a problem. He goes, I've been on shows that have real problems. And he goes, this one time we were doing a show, and it was for um, a world peace conference, right? I'm like, okay, I'm intrigued. And so they, they had all these world leaders, all at the New Orleans uh, Convention Center, what the Asperger and Barbary is, like super good, I think. Uh, all these world leaders were there, and they were there to celebrate world peace. And they had this big black tie tuxedo affair. It was all on the floor of the arena. And then <clears throat> for the climax of the show, they were going to have a dub release. And I had all these white doves to, to be released during the thing. And so they, uh, the meeting planner, their meeting planners are horrible, not always, but usually they're just like, I have to see it, I have to see it, you gotta, you gotta understand that this is a real problem. And so, you know, they, the guy that releases the doves is like, it's pretty simple, lady, here's what happens. The cages have a bottom, the bottom drops out, the doves fall out, they flutter, they come back to their cage, that's where their food is. She's like, we have to test it, we have to make sure, I have to see it. It has to happen perfectly. And so he puts the doves up in the ceiling. And it's a 300 foot ceiling. And so they, uh, they test it and they test it and they test it and they test it. You know, like we had a joke that, you know, let's rehearse this until we get it wrong. And so, you know, they did that. Finally, she's satisfied. Okay, we've seen the doves. And the guy's like, yeah. She's like, now. Um, He's like, I want to take the doves home with me because, you know, it's better. She's like, no, no, they're in the right place. We've tested it. We know it works. And uh, just leave the doves here. And he's like, he's, but they really need to get home. She's like, you don't understand. You don't understand. We're paying you. Do what we say. And he's like, fine. So then they leave. It's July in New Orleans, which is um, closer to the sun. <laughs> so... What happens as soon as they stop rehearsing and a client leaves the, the building is they turn off all the air conditioners, okay? But you don't know that because they leave it on while you're there. But as soon as they leave, it's expensive for all that air conditioning. So they leave it over the weekend. And then they come back and nobody checks the doves again. And then <clears throat> they've got presidents and czars and kings and <laughs> world leaders that all come together for this wonderful black tie event. And there's women dressed beautifully and men in their tuxedos. And then they're like, and here's to world peace at the climax of the evening. And the guy pushes the button and all of the bottoms that dropped out of the dove cages. And then all these dead, bloated doves just drop all over everybody, hitting them in the head, into the table, splashing their soup, you name it. Dead doves everywhere because they're on the floor and the stuff's all above them. And so it drops 300 feet, 300 feet of splatter from these dead doves. And, uh, you know, of course, that doesn't really signify the world piece we were looking for. And the wait staff, you know, they're just like, they walk around, okay, okay, now get this. Are you done with this plate? Okay, okay, I get this and I'll get your cup. And oh, there's a dove. Acted like nothing happened. Anyway, there are real problems in the world without you having to create other problems. So that was the more of my story. Hope you guys have a great day. This is how you grow out and sponge it off. All right, love you, Stephen. Bye. So I got a little bit of blood, not much, just the little light each finger, except for my pinky. My pinky got away. Dennis, let's see your hand. Oh, that is unpleasant. What happened here? I'll tell you what happened. Okay. So first of all, I just want to say self-sacrifice is always a lot easier when somebody else is doing it for you. But Got everything grabbed. We got the shower door in. I had the last piece. I was like, let's just put the glass door in. I hung it and I went to slide it, and the entire thing just exploded all over the place. So we all got a little bit of blood. 
and uh, I'm gonna go get another shower tomorrow. Bummer. All right. So, uh, as a lot of you guys know, humor is no laughing matter. Um, but earlier, we shattered the door. It was my fault because I touched it, it shattered. I, I need to stop working out on my finger muscles because I was just like this, like, and just So I'll be a lot more gentle with my fingers from now on. I'm sorry to the homeowners. Um, so what we're doing here is we have taped off everything like E.T.'s house or Dexter's house so that we can blow about a nickel size amount of texture on the walls here. But then also we're gonna do a big reveal for the homeowners. I hope they love it because they haven't seen anything since we very first started. And so we're gonna bring them in here later on and we'll be like, hey driver, move that plastic. And then we're gonna tear it down and just throw it like this. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. And then they'll be very disappointed. So before the glass broke today, Dennis and I were talking and you guys probably realize that I'm a bit of a prankster and uh, I don't apologize for it. And sometimes I do things that are what some people would consider inappropriate. And most of the people who have worked with me at any point realize that there will come a time that I will say something like this. Does this smell like broken glass to you? And then they start smelling. I don't know why. Broken glass doesn't have a smell that I know of. But then they're like, ugh. And I'm like, that's for you. All right, so I'm going to pull those. You want to see what this looks like? It's pretty amazing. Excited because the homeowner's about to walk it. They have not seen this since we very first started. Remember the original picture? Oh, it was okay. But Drew, oh Drew, hey, come on in. Whoa, oh, hold on, not yet. Oh, what driver? Driver. We saw the dead bodies back there. Are there? A few. Don't judge. Okay, driver. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's have a good idea. Wait for it. Wait for it. Move that bus. Oh, look at that! Such a... You didn't want blue, right? Oh, yes. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. It looks it's close enough. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Close enough. So yeah. we're still going to pay We're still, we're still good. Thank God, because, dude, uh, my mortgage on the cardboard box behind the, uh, underneath the bridge is one now. Yeah, so... Uh, Who wants to live in a $300,000 house when you live underneath the $6 million bridge? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks great. We we absolutely love it. John's working real hard. Um, um, so for the uh, yeah, 28 minutes. I'm like that. I mean, and it's done. I mean, we got new lights. Oh, they look amazing, by the way. Yeah. Uh, we got everything textured. We're gonna do the paint. So new faucets, amenities, beautiful. Come in a little closer. We see the see the sliding door. New shower. Not okay. exploded. The party shower. It is a part of it. Yeah. We're going to have 68 people <laughs> Yep. And we have it still coming together. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, we got a look. Got a stone. We got the bench. We got a bench. We got this ledge right here. Yeah. We got your uh, soap dishes or corner shelves, however you want to say it. There's whatever. Like, I don't feel awkward that two men are in the shower at the same time. Like, there's still room. Get on over there. Farther? Wait, was the motor about to come through? No, no it's right. yeah, in the car. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, you know, we can just chill, fill the out, right? Party room, party yeah. shower, yeah. It's not so yeah. bad. It's not so bad. There's some room. So, I'll allow it. Yeah. I'll allow it. It is, it's an A. Plus. It is an A. Plus. Uh, I will say, John has done a great job of fixing uh, the mistakes that. Yes. Uh, that were made, which were a yes. broken glass door that sh that shattered. You uh, weren't supposed to know about that. Oh, I want you to meet the first um, snake. Oh, we found a snake. Oh, oh, oh we, we got a snake too. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that. Yeah. yeah. Well, What's his name? One. Oh, I have a name to me. Is he a rattlesnake? Mm -hmm. He is a rattlesnake. Yeah, it's a rattlesnake. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, well, he's being good to me. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I mean, most rattlesnakes are pretty nice. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think he wants. He might want to take a shower with this later. Yeah, you better mm -hmm. do shower. Well, some snakes like water. They do, yeah, especially. Well, they're trying water to get snakes. out of my hand, so I better go. Okay, well, so we talk. We are super happy. Uh, it's like regular happy people. Yeah, today. yeah, absolutely. But there is one thing that I needed you to fix underneath the slab. That, oh yeah, you know, yeah. Now that we're gonna test to see how you know. This is a perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So you yeah. really are a homeowner. 
We are. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. See you guys on the next one. Bye.